nearly ten and a half feet of fins, teeth, and tail. A boy grabs this monster with his bare hands. How he saves a shark from certain death. New at 5.30, drama on the beach. A teen rushes to save a shark's life. That shark was a huge hammerhead. Let's get out to Fox 35's Daryl Nail. He is live in Brevard County with more. Daryl. Yeah, that's right. The teenager told me that as soon as he saw the guys hook the shark and it was being reeled in, he could tell that they were going to need help to get it back out. No hesitation at all. Austin Massone says he felt the power of this 10 foot, 4 inch long hammerhead shark the moment he grabbed its tail. A very powerful, well, it's all muscles, so a 10 foot shark, all muscles. Even so, the 16 year old sensed the monster sized shark was in trouble. A couple of strangers, a fisherman and his friend, were competing in a catch and release shark fishing tournament, but they didn't have the rope needed to get the massive shark back in the water. In my sense was trying to let that thing survive because I knew if they stayed on land too much, they would die. But it wasn't easy. After pulling it to shore for several quick pictures and a measurement, the powerful animal fought hard against their efforts to pull him back into the ocean. The thrashing and twisting took a toll on the teen because a shark's skin is like sandpaper. I had shark burn on my uh, chest and stuff, and like I got hit by the tail on the neck, so it was a pretty rough ride. The three wrestled the 10 footer back into the water, but the massive shark powered his way back on shore. Once again, the three men grabbed a hold of the shark's tail. So we had to drag it back into the water again. But once it, once we got it in, going in the right direction, it swam off as fast as it could. So I knew that thing was alive. And he said that shark took off with a lot of energy, so he knows it was okay. It is legal to fish for hammerhead sharks, but FWC requires that you release them back into the ocean. In Cape Canaveral, Gerald Nail, Fox 35 News.